guys, what's up? It's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just going to be a little chit chat get ready with me video. I feel like I have a couple things I need to update you guys on with my life, with my trial of veganism, just stuff like that. So that's why I decided to get ready on camera with you guys and just, you know, just hang out a little. <laughs> also, I know I'm wearing literally the biggest sweater ever. It is so cold in my house, you guys. I just, I don't think I can film this video without a sweatshirt, so here I am. I remember like back in the day, I would not let myself film in a sweatshirt. Then compared to now, it's like, I think the past four of my videos have been in sweatshirts, so that's good. So if you have been keeping up with my channel, and if you haven't, you should totally hit that subscribe button because I'm really glad you're here and I upload once a week, so. You will know that the past two videos I uploaded were actually like vegan videos. And if you know me, you know that I love food. I'm a food advocate. Like I love meat, stuff like that, but I decided to give veganism a try. So I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to do like a week trial, like whatever. And I just started a I went grocery shopping. I was like out of all my other food and I just like ended up starting. I was a full on vegan for about five days and then I was going to keep it up. I had to go to a wedding and I was going to keep it up during the wedding, except for the first stop we went to on the road trip. It was like 10 hours away was McDonald's and I like looked up it was like I had just woken up from a nap in the car and my parents were like oh we're going to McDonald's whatever so I like looked up on my phone like real fast like vegan options for McDonald's and one of the options said like oatmeal so I was like okay you know what I'm just gonna order two oatmeals and I'll order like a coffee with the syrup or whatever so I, I look further into it while I'm waiting for my food and the oatmeal actually does have cream in it and you have to ask for it without the cream so that happened and then my coffee ended up having cream in it and I was like, I don't want to be that customer right now. We're kind of in a rush. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go like the whole weekend to not really caring. So that happened and it wasn't a big deal. And then my grandma ended up giving me just like a ton of cookies. So the first two days I got back, I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna finish these cookies and then I'm gonna go vegan again after I go grocery shopping. So that's what I did, except for now. So I have like all vegan food in my house. But I think I'm gonna do it where when I'm at home and I'm cooking, I'm gonna cook all vegan and be as healthy as I can. But when I'm out, I'm not gonna put myself down too hard about it if I don't order vegan. I'm definitely gonna try to still at least do like vegetarian, but like for example, my sorority had a dinner yesterday and there was like a vegetarian lasagna and then there was a like regular lasagna and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go for the vegetarian lasagna. Yes, there was cheese in it. Yes, it kind of made me feel a little poopy afterwards, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Did I see a difference in anything? Um, I don't know if it was just like the placebo effect or whatever, but I did like on the third or fourth day, feel like I had insane energy. Like I was like, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm on like Adderall or something. I was like, is this really from veganism? I was like, maybe I just got like a randomly a really good like day of sleep. I keep like making eye contact with people outside like walking to class and I'm like, Another random fun fact, like update on my life, is that I got a job through Instagram DMs. <laughs> Basically one of the most random things that's ever happened to me. Like I modeled for this shoe company um, and it's called Unheard Of. It's like kind of getting big here in Cincinnati. And basically, I like love the team there. They're all so chill. And they were like, we kind of want a girl on our team. What last time I went and visited them after a photo shoot? And they're like, we want a girl on our team. Like if you ever have an extra free time, like want to get in a couple hours, let us know. And I was like, okay, like whatever. Like didn't think anything of it. And then like they DM'd me twice. And it's like, so when are you starting? Like you want to start this Friday? And I was like, oh, I can't Friday. I have like my day party Friday. And they were like, what about Saturday? I was like, ooh, these people really want me to work. I was like, sure. Like, I have nothing going on Saturday. So if you are an OG subscriber and you've been around since me working at the concession stand, you know I loved that job. And I actually like really enjoy working in general. So I'm actually really excited. We'll see how long it lasts. We'll see how it works out. I mean, it's just like I have not done like labor, manual labor. Is that like what it is? <laughs> I've not had a job since the concession stand. And I worked there like when I was 14 and a half to like 17. And then I just have been doing YouTube. Not that YouTube isn't enough for me. I freaking love it. But I'm like, you know what? Might as well. I'm more relatable if I have a job, you know? No, I'm just kidding. 
Also, I know it's only November. I think today's November 1st, which is crazy. This year has gone by crazy fast, like crazy fast. But I do want to tell you guys now, so you don't let me forget, which I'm not going to because I've actually been thinking about it for a long time. But I am doing Vlogmas this year, so stay tuned for that. Get really excited. I'm trying to like go all in with it. Have my friends like be involved. I feel like I've always done a little bit of Vlogmas, but I really want it to be... I really want to be strong this year and I might actually upload it on my main channel rather than my vlog channel. So I want your guys' opinion on that though. If you guys think I should put my vlogmas on my main channel, let me know. If you think I should keep it to my vlog channel, let me know. Because I do feel like I have a special bond with my vlog channel subscribers, but at the same time, I haven't uploaded it on there in a fat minute because I've been putting all my vlogs on here, so let me know. <laughs> I know I'm about to get like really shit on for my eyebrows, but just let me be me, okay guys? Like, I, I like doing my eyebrows like this, like... I'm also very curious, I want you guys to comment down below what you guys were for Halloween because the costumes this year were just unbelievable. There's that. <laughs> so Halloween lasted all weekend for me, I know, and I know in college it just like always does, like the weekend before Halloween. So if you are not following me on Instagram, which you totally should, so promo right here, Sarah J. Brigette. I literally upload all the time and I have giveaways on my Instagram story all the time, so I may or may not be having a giveaway on my Instagram story right after this video. And I know I said that in my last video, but I wasn't up to date. This video, I definitely will, so go stay tuned, check it out. On Thursday, my sorority had a social, so I decided to go. It was like kind of warm on Thursday here, so I decided to go as pizza. <laughs> my friend has a pizza shirt, and basically I just wore a pizza shirt with some shorts my vans and I had like a orangey sweater so I was like that's like kind of my crust I guess so I went as pizza and then the rest of the weekend just decided to be warm like I wish I was cute nowadays I'm just not so on Friday night and Saturday night I actually ended up wearing onesies but I was actually the poop emoji on Friday and I was making literally the funniest puns the whole night like I was thriving as poop like that's not okay and then on Saturday night, I actually bought a flying squirrel onesie from Amazon and it came in Saturday morning, luckily. But I didn't even end up going out on Saturday. We were like getting ready to go out and stuff. But I was in my onesie and I was so warm. Like, I'm not kidding, this onesie is the most, I got large too, so it's like really oversized. But it's literally the most warm thing. I think it's like going to replace my robe in this winter. I'm like not even kidding. I literally slept in it four nights in a row and I haven't had a better sleep than that in a very long time. Like it was wow. I just wish you guys could have experienced it. Like I also didn't realize how much I hated the cold until it became winter overnight. I literally dread it. I never want to leave my bed ever ever. The only good thing about winter is like the smell of the heat in my house. So like we've been turning on the heat and the smell of it just smells like Christmas and like baked cookies. Like I don't know how to describe it. It is the best smell ever. But that also makes me never want to leave the house. So it's like not a win-win. I think that's why like later in my life I just need to live somewhere that's summer year round. But then again I feel like I'd just like be too privileged. You have to have some good and some bad to be well rounded, right? <laughs> Literally like the difference that mascara made on my eyes. Like I'm sorry if I keep looking over here but it's like when I do my makeup I kind of have to. The difference that I mascara made on my eyes from before I had mascara on is like actually kind of scary like boy to girl. I've also realized recently while editing that I've been saying like a lot like like a lot a lot <laughs> and the reason that my videos have been like a little extra choppy is because I feel like that'd be annoying so I edit it out for you guys like sometimes when I say it too many times in like a sentence or something and a couple of you guys commented on my last video saying that it was a little like too choppy so I just want to know also I'm literally asking you guys to put so many things in the comments but comment down below if you'd prefer me to take out my little slip ups or if you'd prefer me to just talk naturally like act like I usually do didn't know I said like this much in person too but I guess I do you know filming videos really keeps you in check <laughs> it might just be me but I am in love with the feeling of hitting pan on a makeup product like I'm like I got my money's worth of this I'm going somewhere like I'm actually using this stuff like I don't know it just makes me so happy especially on like a blush or a bronzer or something I have a deep connection with this blush because of how much I've used it and like how much it's been around the world with me <laughs> I'm obsessed with this highlighter you guys it's MAC mineralized skin finish natural or no it's MAC mineralized skin finish and soft and gentle You've probably heard people raving about it forever, but it's just 
just, it's that good. Like it is. So that is it. Quick, easy, simple. My makeup, my daily routine, you know? No, but seriously, like for class and stuff, I don't like going overboard too much. Just throw on some mascara and have like a good base face. So if I do wanna add some eyeliner and like extra like crease eyeshadow later on, I can. Um, you know, this just makes me feel like more put together throughout the day. It was one of my goals this year to wear makeup to class every day only solely because when I don't wear makeup, I tend to not fall asleep, but like, kind of like you know like be in a haze like I'll touch my face a lot lay on my face but when I have makeup on I don't want to get like my sweatshirts ruined so I won't like you know what I mean I just feel like I'm a, lo a little more present when I have a face of makeup on and that could totally be like psychological like a mental thing but like a it works for me and that's why I'm doing it so yeah so that is it for my makeup I hope you guys enjoyed if you did please be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below what you thought of it also if you're new to this channel be sure to subscribe I'm so happy to have you here and I make videos every single week also comment down below those video requests because you already know I'm out of ideas thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in my next video bye <laughs>